Lulu's Lemonade, written by Barbara DeRobertis, illustrated by Paige Bill and Fry. Please come down from that tree, Martin, Maddie called. Let's think of something to do. I'm bored. Don't want to come down, Martin grumped. Don't want to think. It's too hot to do anything. Maddie's sister Lulu was sprawled in the grass. I'm thirsty, she announced. We could play cards, Maddie suggested. Boring, said Martin. How about watching crazy cat cartoons on TV? Maddie asked. Double boring, said Martin. Maddie snapped her fingers. I know, we could make up a recipe to enter in the kids' cooking contest next week. It's too hot to cook, Martin said, swinging down from the tree. It's even too hot to make my world-famous peanut butter and dill pickle pizza. Thank goodness for that, said Maddie. Lulu sat up. You could make me something to drink. I'm really thirsty. Come on, Martin, said Maddie. Let's go make lemonade for Lulu. Yippee, squealed Lulu. Lemonade. Boring, muttered Martin. Maddie set out two pitchers. We'll make a whole gallon, she said. Which pitcher should we use, Lulu? The big one, Lulu answered. They both hold the same amount, said Maddie. A gallon. No way, said Lulu. The big kids were always trying to fool her. I can prove it, Martin said. He filled one pitcher with water. Then he poured the water into the other pitcher. It came right up to the top. Wow, said Lulu. They do hold the same amount. I thought you were just teasing me. Maddie was reading the directions on the lemonade mix. This makes only a half gallon, so the pitcher will be half full. Great, said Martin. Then we can fill it with a half gallon of interesting stuff. Lulu didn't like the sound of that. You won't put anything yucky in my lemonade, will you? Depends on what you mean by yucky, said Martin. You know, said Lulu. I don't think he does, Maddie said. How long will this take? Asked Lulu. I'm really, really thirsty. Not too long, Maddie said. Lulu wasn't happy with that answer. Please give me some lemonade now, she begged. Please! Listen up, everybody, said Martin. We could add a quart of ketchup. That would make the lemonade interesting. Yuck, said Lulu. Oh, Martin, said Maddie. You might like that, but nobody else will. But everybody likes ketchup, Martin said. On hamburgers, said Maddie. The big kids were just talking. Lemonade was not getting made. Lulu flopped on the floor. If I don't get some lemonade right now, I'm going to scream. I know it's hard to wait, Lulu, said Maddie. Why don't you draw a picture while we finish? Martin was looking in the fridge. I've got it, he said. Mustard, not mustard, cried Lulu. Sorry, Martin, said Maddie. She pulled out a quart of orange juice. How about this, she asked. Yes, said Lulu and Martin. They both looked surprised that they had agreed. Hey, here's some lemon lime soda pop. Hmm, said Martin. Hmm, about two cups left, just enough to add fizzy bubbles. That's more like it, said Maddie. Right, Lulu? Lulu nodded. It sounds good enough to drink now. We can't stop now, said Martin. The pitcher's not full. Lulu sighed. We can add a cup of lime juice, said Maddie. She tossed some limes to Martin. Just then a voice called, may I borrow a jar of pickles? It was Jason from across the street. Sure, Maddie said, we're making lemonade. Wanna help? You only like to make complicated stuff like on TV, Martin said, right? Right, said Jason. In fact, Chef Fifi's show is on in a minute. We're making a pickle and beet pudding. With a wave, Jason was out the door. Lulu went back to her artwork. As she drew, she started to chant, Lemonade, lemonade, Lulu wants lemonade, 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 lemonade now. As usual, the big kids didn't seem to hear. Maddie was looking in the spice cupboard. Sometimes mom puts a tablespoon of vanilla in lemonade, she said. Cool, said Martin. I've never tried that. If we could just add one more thing, Martin said. He was started staring at the row of spices. A teaspoon of something unusual, like red hot pepper or black peppercorns. Or pepper, mint, cried Lulu as she ran to the herb garden. In less than a minute, she was back in the kitchen. Here, she cried. Just enough for a teaspoon, said Martin. He dropped half a dozen mint leaves into the lemonade. It's almost ready now, right? Asked Lulu. 
Almost, said Maddie. Want to put in the ice cubes? Sure, said Lulu. She dumped the whole tray in, of ice into the pitcher. Curse splash. Lemonade splattered on Lulu's face. Lulu licked her lips. This is good, she said. This is the best lemonade I ever tasted. Really, said Maddie. Are you kidding? Martin asked. Try it, said Lulu. They all grabbed glasses and took big swallows of the lemonade. It is the best, said Maddie. It's great, said Martin. I bet it's better than anything Chef Fifi could make. You should enter this lemonade in the kids' cooking contest, Lulu announced. Maddie and Martin stared at each other. The contest, they'd, they had forgotten all about it. I don't remember exactly what we put in, said Maddie, or how much, added Martin. You have to know that for a recipe. We didn't write anything down, moaned Maddie. I did, said Lulu. She grinned as she held up her drawing. Maddie's mouth dropped open. I don't believe it, she said. That's great. Martin looked stunned, too. Good job, Lulu, he told her. But what should we call our lemonade? Maddie asked. Lulu felt very pleased with herself. She turned over the sheet of paper. In big letters, she had written Lulu's Lemonade. A perfect name for perfect lemonade, said Maddie. Except maybe we should add just a little chili pepper, said Martin. Oh, yuck said Lulu. Not again.